What is going on you guys? I am back with yet another video and damn you guys are getting a lot of content recently and wow the picture looks good on this camera and yes the audio sounds even better and that is because today I'm going to be talking about my brand new microphone the DT D3 Pro which I can't show you right now because it is actually on top of my Panasonic GH5 which is also new wow we are upping the quality of these videos but this video is not going to be about all the technical stuff because you can find all that stuff out on Google and this is not Google this is YouTube this is my channel but I'm going to be showing you guys how this microphone performs in different situations. I'm also going to be comparing it to this £25 microphone so you guys can decide whether or not the £200 price tag is worth it. But that is enough of the intro, let's head outside. Woo! So here it is, this is the first test of my brand new Deity D3 Pro microphone which is attached to my GH5 Panasonic Lumix which is also brand new. I've also got my G G7X Mark III Canon point and shoot camera just over there so you can see how far I am away from my GH5. Hi! So you can get a better idea as to how this is performing at typical kind of vlogging distance from your face. What I'm also going to be doing is I'm going to switch over from this microphone to the Saramonic microphone which is the microphone that I've been using for the last six months ever since I got the Canon G7X so we're going to see how that compares. So I'm going to switch over right now and here we go I've currently got the Saramonic little microphone. How cute is that? Look you can see it's so small. This is an amazing microphone. I used it for the last six months since I actually bought the Canon G7X. <laughs> there it is, the Deity D3 Pro is back on the camera and I'm so excited about that. I don't know why I'm so excited. I guess it's because, um, oh, my speed, shutter speed is it? Shutter speed is not correct. There we go. That should probably look a little bit better. Um, I guess I'm excited just because I got a brand new camera in order to improve the quality of these videos, but it's so, so important as well to improve the audio quality of videos and that's something that people often will neglect when they you know buy their camera setups they think they can get away with pretty average audio and that the camera alone will just make up for it but it won't and hopefully if you guys agree let me know in the comment section below if this is making the whole viewing experience better, having a better audio system. But this is actually probably gonna be a good test as well because the microphone, the DRT D3 Pro, comes with a shock mount, which the sole purpose of that is to try and absorb some of the bumps when I'm walking on uneven ground. Like right now, obviously I'm on the field and check this out, it's not really the most even. I'd also like to know what you guys think of this lens for vlogging. This is my 14 to 140 millimeters. I was actually using it without the Gorillapod, like yesterday, just testing it, trying it out. And to be honest, it did seem a little bit close to my face. It was a bit like this, but the added length that the Gorillapod gives me, the tripod, which I use to hold the camera, I feel like it just kind of adds a little bit of width to the picture and makes it a bit more pleasant on the eye I guess for you guys to view and actually this will be another good test because quite often as a vlogger you are behind the camera like this and you're talking to the person whatever it is the sheep it'd be interesting to know if you guys can actually hear the audio from me who is behind the camera let me know in the comment section if you guys can hear me but anyway before we continue let me get some nice b-roll footage of the sheep <laughs> enough b-roll that's not this video I feel like this uh, video has gone a little bit off track maybe we should keep on track all right here we go I'm at the road motorbike as you can see and you can probably hear as well it'd be very interesting to see how the microphone performs next to a busy loud Road. Now there are also some extra settings on this microphone which are meant to improve it where you can add a low cut filter to the microphone so I'm going to add that right now I'm going to add the 75 hertz low pass filter to the microphone right now 
So I've got the 75 Hertz high pass filter on the microphone now. So we're gonna see how this performs when there is background noise. As you can see, there's more cars driving by. And now I'm going to change it to the 150 Hertz low cut filter. And there we go, we got the 150 Hertz low cut filter on. So yeah, it'd be interesting to know if you guys think there is a difference with the filters on when there is a bit of ambient noise. Let me know in the comment section below which you think was most effective in this situation right here. The 75 Hertz, 150 Hertz, or whether or not the filter was even necessary at all. Woo! <laughs> and we are back inside. And having listened back to those recordings, to me it sounded so evident that the 150 Hertz low cut filter was so, so beneficial at isolating my voice from the wind. Annoyingly though, Yesterday, I did not bring my wind muff with me. Right now, it is actually a windy day outside, so it would only make sense for me to go outside and test the microphone with the dead cat on it. So let's head outside. Back outside, and you can see the dead cat is on top of the microphone, and you can see how windy it is. Look at how windy it is. So this is the perfect opportunity to see how well the dead cat performs in windy conditions. And yes, I am wearing the exact same t-shirt that I was yesterday when I did this test, because I didn't want to put it in the wash because the more you wash your clothes, the more it shrinks. So that is the test of the dead cat. I think it's probably going to have performed well, probably better than the low cut filters yesterday, but it will be interesting to find out. Back inside my bedroom, I was gonna say my studio, like most YouTubers do, because they record their videos inside a studio, but unfortunately we don't have the budget here. So I'm currently back inside my bedroom. But yeah, actually, when listening back to the audio with the dead cat, I wasn't as blown away as I should have been. Get the pun, blown away, you know? Blown away, wind, blown, no. So what I've taken from that is the dead cat is beneficial to an extent, but in combination with the low cut filters that this microphone offers, the 75 Hertz and the 150 Hertz, this can be a really great option. Now the price tag, it was 200 pounds. And was it worth it? Absolutely, that is an incredible price. Now the comparative microphone would be the Rode VideoMic NTG and that may have a few more features and the audio quality might sound just slightly better, but it is negligible. And considering the price of this microphone, the BTD3 Pro, which by the way comes with a hard case that NTG doesn't, this was 200 pounds, including the dead cat. The Rode VideoMic NTG is priced at 240 pounds and it doesn't include the dead cat. But comparing it to this 25 pound Saramonic microphone, now I absolutely love this microphone and I still love this microphone because it is a great cheap alternative to using in-camera audio. So I would absolutely recommend this, but more so I would 100% recommend the DTD3 Pro, woo! And by the way, I'm gonna be putting links to Amazon for all these items, the Saramonic microphone, which I got, and the DTD3 Pro within the description below. And if you do purchase using my links on Amazon down below, I will get a very, very small cut, but it goes towards helping me create these videos. Woo! <laughs> Guys, smash that like button if you have gained some value from this video. And if you wanna see more videos like this, let me know in the comment section below. Please subscribe to this channel and smash that bell button to get notified every single time that I post. But as always, thank you for watching this video and I shall see you guys in the next one.